Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Zombieland Saga Revenge episode number 3. Alright, the previous episode, it was funny and emotional at the same time. The whole thing with Saki and, you know, um, uh, Ryu-san, it was like, you know, there's this whole thing. And in the beginning, it was kind of like lighthearted and all, you know, as usual, like Saki like, un like knows these kind of like local things in Saga and like he got like excited by like meeting Ryu-san and then we get to know the whole story of how Ryu-san was the one who kind of like you know motivated Saki and like Saki found her best friend uh, after like you know after that whole radio show by Ryu-san and how Ryu-san is retiring and the whole uh, you know realization that I am a zombie I am not a normal person now and the future that ryu san like you know uh, talked about saki like realizing that they do not have the future anymore but you know like even if they do not have the future f uh, to live as normal humans they can motivate people they can do the same thing that ryu san did motivating others and you know f making others find that blaze of the soul and that's like you know what she decided to do she took over the radio show and i'm guessing like the fan shushu girls will now like host the radio show so yeah it was a really good episode i have to say and i have never even thought that i would see saki break down like that like like saki you know that saki like her breaking down so yeah anyway so yeah let's see what this episode is about this is episode number three of Zombieland Saga Revenge so without further ado let's get started all right so I'll be putting in the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay so here's the countdown three two one go Yes. <laughs> yep, they're hosting the radio show now. Yes. Is doing some research. Oh, what is this? Some new idol group? Oh. Okay. Oh, damn. What? <laughs> I, I can hear the Kotaro's voice. <laughs> Is Kotaro training, Thai? <laughs> you know? <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, this opening is amazing. The Caustic Saga of Love and Youth. Okay. I'm really looking forward to what happens to Thai, you know. Will she be able to talk? That's the main question. Will she, you know, gain her senses? Like she understands everything, you know, but she cannot talk or properly and But that's what makes him the legendary Yamada Tai, you know <laughs> Okay Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> Good, Tato. All right. Okay. Yep, they're, they're coming back, you know, they're coming back to the scene. <laughs> Die. Don't, don't do that, Ty. Who? Oh. Hmm, mm. okay. Damn. <laughs> Ty. <laughs> oh my god. This will dead and rotting. <laughs> oh my god, what is it? Die, come on! <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, come on! <laughs> okay. Hmm. <clears throat> hmm. Damn, everyone's uh, depending on her. Yeah, everyone is depending on her. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. Are you gonna need, you need both of them? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Oh no. Okay, I think this is a bit. <laughs> she might get burned out quickly, you know? Everyone's like depending on him. Okay. <laughs> he's ready today he's ready today he's not letting anyone go punch him oh <laughs> oh no oh no oh no oh no Ty Ty Ty's going to spit it out What? Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Kotaro! Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh. What? What? <coughs> oh yeah, true, you know? Oh! Okay! Oh, solo jobs. Damn. Now what? Yeah.
Mm, yeah, but... Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I I think Kotaro must have some other plan. I'm not sure. Like, you know, she, he was kind of looking at uh, Ai when, like, she was performing and everything. <coughs> okay. Was that garlic? Call number three. Okay, here are the questions. Oh, damn. Yeah, people are noticing. Damn. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, trap. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Maybe they were going, getting too real, like. They're relying on her too much, so that's why Kotaro did this. <laughs> this voice. Oh my god. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh my god. Kotaro. Hmm. How many days are left? Okay. Like more than a week oh he's still not paying attention damn he's <laughs> gonna die <laughs> Okay. Well, they can do it themselves quite prop. Oh, is this some? Oh. Oh my god, die! <laughs> okay. <laughs> die. Yeah, she can do it, do everything so, like, you know? Yeah, she's feeling like, you know. Okay. <clears throat> and there they are. Oh, this is Iron Phil. <clears throat> oh. 
An absolute queen of idols. True, that's very true. <clears throat> Legendary original. Okay. Yep. <coughs> um, okay. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? Like, you know, maybe they don't use them. Okay, yeah. Oh, she, she's not accustomed to uh, technology. What? <laughs> okay, that's a shame she could not use it properly. What was she even searching for? Like impact? Oh! Wow! Damn, Tai! <laughs> Tai! Uh, what are they even doing? Um. <laughs> uh, yeah, what what was that? Um <clears throat> Yeah. <laughs> um Okay. Will this really leave an, Im leave an impact? Hmm. <clears throat> um, I'm not sure. Okay. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> Did she used to do this before, you know, kind of sit on the roof and... Whoa, her voice. Well, obviously, everyone can sing well because they're like an idol group, but. And they even like, you know, reduce the aspect ratio for that, like, you know, feeling of an old, like, you know, music video. And the like, you know, faded color, black and white-ish type of color. <clears throat> wow, that was good. Oh, okay, don't fall and break your neck. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh, damn. Okay, we better fix that.
<laughs> this is weird. <laughs> okay. Don't fall. Come on. Okay, so she's feeling bad, but like, you know, kind of insecure about that. He doesn't know how to like you know do the whole teamwork that's what's like you know kind of bothering her hmm. yeah yeah you can you can just like talk with her you know like that's yeah it's not that you cannot like you know rely on her you can like you know you can just like talk with her ask for advice who the is this from the iron field yeah oh damn Yeah. Okay, they knew about the French issue. Finally caught on. Why that everyone was depend? No, not that. What the hell? I was. Come on, like, you cannot say that, like, what? <clears> hmm. <throat> well, you're talking with her now. <laughs> no. No. Come on, like Oh my god, this girl is a bit too, you know, like forward about stuff Okay. Oh my god, Junko is... Oh no, this might affect the performance. Did we get the ending song in the previous episode? I cannot remember. No, no, we did not get. We did not get. This is the first time. Wow, these are like some nice sceneries, you know? Colorful, bright. Extra bright. I like this, you know? Whenever something's extra bright.
Wow, it's a really nice song. Wow, that was a really <clears throat> nice ending song. <laughs> All right. So this was episode number three. Now, uh, this is, I'm going to, I think like this carry, this will carry on in the next episode. And I think like we'll get a conclusion in the next episode. This was like, I'm guessing the first part of this, you know, whole thing. And <clears throat> okay. Now when it started, I thought like it was like, you know, it was going to be a uh, episode centered on I. And it turns out that that's technically not it. Like it's an episode focused on I and Junko, both of them. Uh, not an episode, but I mean, the two episodes. I think in the next episode it will also like continue. So yeah, and um, <clears throat> like uh, like you know there was like this whole thing where I'm sure like everyone else felt as well. Like I and Junko were like the you know, uh, like the centerpiece of the like whole Afran Shushu because they were like they were the only one who were proper idols before. You know, like no one else was any idol. Yugiri was kind of like she was a, uh, a courtesan, wasn't she? Like I think so, yeah. And uh, now nah, Hoshikawa Lily was uh, kind of an idol. You know, so like yeah, like but still like I'm I'm talking about like the whole proper idol thing who used to do it um uh, junko and i they were the ones and so like they were like you know they were kind of like the centerpiece like everyone used to go to them and ask for advices and all and <clears throat> especially be more towards like people went more towards i because you know like i was like an idol recently and junko as he she said like i was more like a solo like you know showa idol showa era I idol and she used to like do these kind of like solo concerts and like this kind of like you know played guitar and all all of these kind of things and like her version of an idol was a uh, quite like you know uh, <coughs> older more older than i's version because in season one we can kind of remember her whole like you know kind of reluctance of shaking hands and all and she had this whole thing with like idols should be these kind of uh, like you know these people who are on a pedestal and like normal fans should not be allowed to go and interact with them which kind of changed as time went on and like you know i kind of said that no that's not what it is now you know like nowadays idols used to like you know like uh, interact with the fans take photos with the fans and like shake hands and all like do uh, gives autographs and everything like that is like the idol now so the version of <clears throat> junko's idol is a bit like older so that's why I, I like you know like everyone went towards i for like more advice and everything because her version of idol was more recent and which which is what we see in the first like you know uh, part of this video uh, of this episode now <clears throat> everyone was kind of like saying you know like i like what should i do this i what should we do about this even junko was asking her like what should we do about this and that and i was thinking maybe she was going to get stressed out or something you know going to get burnt out about this whole thing like everyone relying on her and <clears throat> like Kotaro uh, like noticed that you know and I think like Kotaro like told uh, I to do separate idol activities because like he saw that all of the other like you know members were relying a bit too much on her like this could affect uh, uh, the whole thing a lot negatively because like a lot of things can happen because of this uh, number one uh, either like <clears throat> you know if somehow as like you know the uh, junko said that if somehow um <coughs> not junko like i said that if somehow i am unable to perform you know like you guys have to do it alone so like if somehow like you know he is absent for a certain <coughs> for a certain concert and all uh they won't be able to perform well because they are like relying on us so much so that's one like problem that they could have faced another problem they could have faced is like as i said like i could go like you know get too much stressed out at this and it can like you know affect her health and all because everyone's like relying on him so much pressure so much stress everything and another thing bad thing like the consequence of this is like the other members they won't be able to learn anything they like anything like any problematic like any problem comes in and they would go to i so they won't be able to <coughs> 
like you know stand up for them not stand up for themselves but they won't be able to solve the problems themselves make decisions themselves like they'll be always like relied on i so i'm sure like all of these kind of things like uh kotaro took into consideration and he said like you uh mizuno her name her title is mizuno isn't it you mizuno i you will do like the solo activities from now on and for the next concert you won't you know you won't be there and uh, uh iron field uh, the concert where iron field will play you won't be there <coughs> yeah and um i think that is a correct decision that he took you know because like as, as we saw like everyone was really getting too dependent on i and we kind of saw like you know junko herself kind of stepping up at this and because junko herself was not uh, like you know too knowledgeable ab about this whole like idol like uh, like you know modern idol activities she was also like kind of like you know had a few questions and everything which she tried to like you know find in the internet but was unable to do so because like she cannot use technology properly and all and so like the other people kind of stepped up they were like doing their own thing kind of like you know trying to make it more impactful as we saw like thai kind of like, you know banging the bucket that was a bucket i think yeah bucket and like the other like you know kind of like making a weird type of a music which was you know something special that they were doing and they were also thinking you know like this was like a group effort everyone was thinking like what should we do to improve our performance and everything and <clears throat> now then like you know then uh, <clears throat> like then she gets stressed out and all and she kind of like goes up in the roof plays some guitar sakura sees it they talk with her and like the hair like junko like expresses his con her concerns says that i am like just like a girl who is like a showa showa era solo idol so like you know i have a f like a lot of questions about this thing as well like i'm also not accustomed to it so like sakura says like why not like go and ask uh, like i about this you know because kotaro san said like do not you know uh, like i prohibited i from uh doing the concert with us but he did not say anything about asking her about anything you know like you can just go and ask for advice that's all like perfectly fine and they decided to like go there but like okay and then like this is another thing that was happening like you know uh, i don't feel coming and everyone is like saying that the reporter was also saying that it's no wonder that they call him the absolute queen of idols and <clears throat> and the main uh well uh i think that was the lead like the vocalist i'm guessing no no th there's no vocalist in an idol like you know idol um, concert like everyone is kind of like the vocalist so i'm guessing she is like the lead leader i'm guessing um the uh, the girl with like you know was kind of like us answering the questions uh who later comes to i and talks with her uh, she says that uh, no like there's no absolutes in this world funny enough in the next scene where like he she meets <laughs> i she acts as if like she, they were the top you know like she herself says that there is no absolutes in this world and in the like next scene she kind of says we are like the absolute queen you know so you should join us because you are more uh, appropriate for us because you know like we are the best so kind of funny <laughs> to think about it you know like the thing that she said did not did not like you know match with what she said later on now <clears throat> now i know one thing like uh sometimes people kind of forget about the main goal that they started you know i'm sure like this little girl she like she herself believed that there's no absolutes in the world but because like they are getting like you know like you know they have been f famous for so long and everything sometimes like you know people kind like that's the thing with human beings like we sometimes let ourselves go and let the fame kind of you know kind of uh on us like what do you say like affect us in a not good way so i'm not sure if that's what happened or maybe like you know something else but the like when she was talking about like her you know her idol group she was saying like oh we are the best like you do not deserve to be in like saga which is like a, such a you know backwater place or something like that um i'm not sure like it seemed as if like she like believed that ah we are like the absolute no one can defeat us like you know the whole um overconfidence as we say 
and like that happens to people you know like sometimes people get overconfident i'm not sure if that is what like she really felt at that moment or was it something that she just said to you know kind of uh like invite i to their group or something that she just said so i'm not sure but anyways i will sure to uh, like we'll surely get it get un to understand it in the next episode but yeah like she comes to i and says that like at, at the beginning like uh, like she kind of like kind of like you know says that oh you look like um i so like you know uh, your appearance is so similar and all and everything like that and then like she brings out the main point and she says that you know like she says that looking at you i can feel it like, i can feel it you want to be the best you know and who is the best we so join us <laughs> you know something like that basically like you know the way she was saying everything and like then she says that like oh like why are you in saga in saga you cannot like you know uh, show your real talent the like idol group that you're playing with you cannot like show your real talent with them now in a way she is kind of true but for the moment like i'm talking about for the moment for the moment i is a little bit you know high leveled than the other members even like higher level than junko in my opinion but that doesn't mean the other ones like you know the other members they'll like you know like they they'll be under level forever they'll also grow you know and like the way she was saying it she is like you know she was saying that oh like your uh, other team members and everything they are like so weak so join us and we can show you like you know we can show you uh, the top you can like you know you, you can show like you know uh, show your full talents with us your like you will be able to express yourself more because we are you know stronger than the group that you're playing uh, like you know playing with now uh, performing with now and it kind of sounded a little bit condescending i have to say like in the way she was talking and everything but you know like they are considered the best so like as for a reason so you know like as i said like overconfidence that happens to everybody and she kind of like challenged her and said that you know like let's see who like you know who is the best and if we are able to surpass which she thinks like she'll definitely they'll definitely be able to do because she's overconfident and she said that um and you'll understand and then like you join us after seeing uh, the result of the concert now i'm not sure if she does not i'm sure she knows that uh, i is doing solo activities now you know solo idol work so i'm sure she knows that i will not be performing so like i'm guessing she is like you know kind of uh making this a competition because she wants to show i that the group you know that fran shushu uh like when she is not in fran shushu how fran shushu is like you know doing their idol work like how much they're able to perform and she's going to like make a comparison between their group and the fran shushu except i so that like you know she's trying to like say that yeah like look at us like look at us and look at your group now you'll understand what i'm talking about like we are uh, like you know better than the franchise so join us it's just doing like trying to do something like this like i can understand <clears throat> and i think there's another reason behind this whole thing like i'm sure like she saw the talent in i you know and like um like i think like obviously like uh, she was a big fan of i when she was alive so i think that's also another reason you know because like if you are a big fan of someone you can kind of feel it like you know looking at that person like something must be wrong or like she is not like you know uh, like you know uh, small little things you can notice so i'm sure like she somehow sees i in i like she is i like we know that but she doesn't know that but like you know in her heart she can kind of like you know Uh, feel it and all and that's why like she is trying to get her trying to get her uh, join her idol group because like she was like a big i'm guess and uh, like i i think like she was a big fan of her i cannot remember if they said something about this in season 1 but that's what i think uh yeah so 
yeah like that's why like she is trying to do this she's trying to like you know kind of invite i because number one i looks completely like i because <laughs> they're the same person but she doesn't know all of these kind of things and you know her talent as well and looking at her i'm sure it reminds herself of i when she was alive so like all of these like reasons combined i i think like that's why she's trying to invite her and like doing like this whole thing of like making a competition with Fran Shushu and all because like like you know as the other girls said that maybe they don't don't even have us in our radar you know turns out that is quite true but she is like still like trying to get i get, join their group and because they like you know like as like they said that because like they don't have ourselves in our in their radar like the girl is not thinking and like and not uh, concerned about like the whole competition that they're like doing they thinks like she thinks that we can do it because they're underestimating the uh, fran shushu now <clears throat> yeah like they are like fran shushu is still not at that level i am looking forward to the next episode because i want to see how they're going to do this you know are they going to go to the like you know go through the path of like fran shushu is able to defeat them or are going to like are they going to go through the path of fran shushu is not going to not be able to defeat them but still their performance is so passionate you know that uh, i don't feel members and even the audience they will understand like their passion and everything and that's why like you know uh, i don't feel the girl in iron field will later on say that oh like uh yeah like they are worthy of you or something like that or maybe it might go in another direction where like you know i herself in the end says that even though they are like you know um uh, struggling they are not you know uh not as talented as you guys they're still trying and they're my friends so no i won't join your group i'll go back to them something like that like in either of these three directions it might go and i'm really looking forward to what they're going to do with this because like them defeating i don't feel it's i think it's quite impossible so either they like go through the whole passion you know like their passionate uh, performance will like move their hearts or something something like that either they do that or either i herself will like you know make a decision and yeah i think that's either way that's like uh, something like that is going to happen so let's see let's wait for the next episode so yeah guys that was it that was this episode thank you guys for watching this was episode number um uh three yeah episode number three of zombie land saga revenge so if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to share i'll definitely check them out so yeah guys i'll be back next week with another episode of zombie land saga revenge so until then, goodbye and have a nice day.